Good morning, well changers. It is day 31 of the 100 Days of Self Discovery Challenge. So, as you know by now, every day I pose a thought provoking question to get you thinking and reflecting on your own self, work out what you're about, and the idea being that you can understand yourself better so you can start creating the life that you really want to live rather than just reacting to it. So, uh, today's question is very much in response to yesterday. So yesterday on day 30, I asked, how can you take better care of yourself? And, you know, got lots of responses back about, you know, exercise, sleep, nutrition, diet, drinking well, thinking well, meditating, uh, being less stressed at work, you know, taking time out for yourself, for yourself, those kind of things. And however, pretty much every single one of you admitted that you weren't doing it on a consistent basis and you needed to up it. And this question had made you realise that so that you, you know, you're kind of pressing the reset button, which is something we do as humans all the time, constantly going, oh, I should do this. I need to do this. Uh, I'll set New Year's resolutions. I'll set good habits and they fall by the wayside. So today's question is very much uh, getting to do a little bit of soul searching about do you value yourself and how do you demonstrate that on a daily basis? Because if we truly, truly value ourselves, like, you know, I have this conversation uh, with a dear friend of mine and he absolutely says, yeah, of course I do, I value myself. And I always ask, well, how do you value yourself? Because do you drink plenty of water? Do you sleep well? Do you exercise enough? Do you think positively all the time? Do you uh, have a good work-life balance? Does work, like, because I know his work merges into his personal life and his home life. Uh, so I always pick up on that one. Um, so, you know, if we truly, truly valued ourselves, we would be doing these things on uh, we'd be doing it automatically because we'd understand, do you know what, if I drink uh, three litres of water today, that will uh, help me feel better, it will help my body and nourish it. If I feed myself good, healthy foods, then that will nourish me, it will make me perform better, I will feel better, it will keep me in good health. Um, if I value myself, it is okay to have a time out to myself so that I'm a better parent, a better colleague, a better partner, you know, all these kind of things to improve ourselves. So, uh, how, how are you valuing yourself? First of all, do you value yourself? And really kind of get to the core of this, get really honest, because it is a challenging question because our immediate answer is, yes, of course I value yourself. But when you really unpick it, you start kind of <laughs> finding some cracks. And I, you know, I'm not saying, I'm certainly not perfect. I am flawed in this just as much as any anyone else. Um, and I don't always keep up my healthy habits and... I, you know, it does. It's a question I ask myself quite often. Well, well, why am I not doing it? Why am I not valuing? I say health is my priority. So why have I just horsed through a load of junk food? Okay, if it's one day, then okay, it's no biggie. The body is an amazing piece of machinery and it will repair um, itself and it will do what it needs to do. However, if I do that constantly or regularly then you know that's putting my body under um extreme stress and yeah it can come down to the fact that oh well we like to reward ourselves and what have you but again that comes down to the whole mechanics of the brain you know i've touched on this before about the limbic brain the limbic brain is all about survival it will do absolutely anything to feel better and regardless of how short-sighted it is. So if, for example, you're on a diet and you're trying to eat a certain way, uh, I don't like that word diet because I think um, it's not the right word, but if you if you change to a lifestyle habits and you're trying to eat, eat a healthy lifestyle, your brain, your limbic brain kicks in and goes, oh my God, I'm going to die. There's no joy in life anymore because I can't have my treats. I can't have this. Oh my God, what is the point in living? 
and it hijacks you and before you know it's sent all these messages to your decision making brain and rationalise why you can have that ice cream, that chocolate, whatever treat it is that you know we're trying to deny ourselves of. Now and I hear uh, a lot of people saying everything in moderation and you know and I used to buy into this as well until a doctor once said to me and he gave me this very um, amazing analogy that was very thought-provoking so he said to me so he said imagine you hit your shin on the corner of the coffee table and you you know the body's amazing it will heal in you know a week's time you know you gash your shin it'll the body does its thing and it heals now imagine you hit that same spot this next week and the week after and the week after as in in moderation you know this is when we have our treats at the weekend or you know we might be good all week and then we have our i don't know takeaway and we have our night out what, whatever it might be you know we hit that shin again it's hitting the same spot in the body week after week after week in moderation but it's getting weaker and weaker that same spot on the shin will never properly recover because it's never been allowed to and this had such a profound effect on me i still know the theory of this i still have not put this into practice so i still eat more sugar than i should i've cut out lots of things that don't serve me but i know sugar is my downfall well chocolate mainly and I am definitely consuming way more chocolate than I need to or is healthy or is beneficial and I still haven't got into the mindset of uh, being able to give that up. I'm not ready to give it up. I'm not, um, I don't want to give it up. That's a fundamental flaw. I don't want to give it up because my limbic brain is going, no, don't stop me from eating chocolate. You know, and okay, a little bit of chocolate, like, especially if it's dark chocolate, you know, there are supposed health benefits of it. Um, I've not done any uh, research into that because I just read the top line, oh, dark chocolate's healthy, awesome, you know, and that fitted in with my, uh, what I wanted to believe, you know, I didn't question it because I was like, oh, I don't need to question it, it tells me what I want to know, which is what we often do. Which is why the self-discovery challenge is so great because it really gets you to start thinking about where has my belief system come from? Where am, am I taking, what influences am I taking in to support or my argument for or against or my belief system for or against? And it's really about getting honest. So I think it's going to be a challenging question. So again, do you value yourself and how are you demonstrating that on a daily basis? So I'd love to know your reflections on this. Um, yeah, I think this one is a challenging question and I'm, I'm deliberately gone a bit punchier on this one because it is really starting to know you know we need to get honest with ourselves and I need to get honest with myself this isn't just a one-way thing I you know I've got stuff I need to work on I'm just seeing the sunshine coming in that's nice Ooh, sun's shining anyway love to you all have a fantastic day and uh, yeah be kind to yourself with this question it's not about berating yourself it is uh, just about getting curious and honest so that you can um, start creating the life that you want because that's what this is all about it's about living with health happiness vitality and uh, yeah just living life better in whatever way that means for you take care have a fantastic day and i'll see you all tomorrow bye